Hello everyone. Uh, a friend just asked me how to find all the archived caches in a specific area. And uh, he meant only archived caches, not uh, having both archived and active at once. Now um, this can be solved with Project GC as many other things. But in this case it requires a premium membership because we will have to use a feature called custom filters. You can uh, read more about the premium membership here. It's a subscription costs almost nothing uh, but uh, I won't discuss that anymore right now but we'll look into how we should solve it I suggest using the map compare tool uh, what's not uh, too obvious is that you don't have to compare with someone uh, I've uh, already chosen an area it's an area I live in uh, I want to show caches I haven't found uh, and in this case I'll show caches I've found as well and uh, those I own myself, I'll flag as found, so they won't be seen. Or they actually will, because I have one found checked. But anyways, uh, this wasn't visible from the start, so I'll do it like this. Here we can find uh, an option so that we can actually can show the archived caches. Uh, now if we do this, uh, the problem will be that we'll find uh, both active and archived caches at once, which uh, wasn't really what he wanted. You can see that uh, all the icons here, some don't have any uh, dashes or crosses over them. Those with uh, just a slash, I can't see any right now. Those are disabled, uh, because I am not showing disabled. Those with uh, a cross over them, two slashes in different directions, those are the archived ones. But as you can see we have active caches here as well, we don't want them. So uh, we'll look into solving that. We'll go in here and use custom filters. Here's a list of filters I've already created. We need to create a new one. Uh, name it something that you will recognize. I'll name it like that. Then we have a statement list, it's empty from the start. Uh, if, if we just save it like this, it won't do anything. I have to add a statement. We get some more UI. Uh, here you can do a lot of things. And you have uh, other tabs as well. What we need in this case is the checkbox for archived only. And uh, we need to press add statement to get it up in this box. We'll then press the blue button to actually get it into the filter. And uh, if we would want to, for example, only find uh, difficulty 5 caches, we could add that as well by adding yet another statement. What I need to do now is uh, save the filter. Uh, we now have it in this list. Uh, and we need to go back to map compare them. Uh, it remembers the settings I had last time, so we just need to add the custom filter that we just created. And uh, here it mentions again, this is for paying members only. A little side note is that the custom filters are private. So the link uh, that gets created when pressing filter here is not something you can share with your friends. It will only work for yourself. So um, let's check it out. I don't know if you noticed, I know I didn't uh, tell you, but we had uh, 700 800 caches before. Now we're down to almost or less than 500. And as you can see, everything here now has the cross of them, meaning they're all archived. As for the sake of...